What's up? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're having a great day. This is a little NFL records prediction after free agency and the draft. So I hope y'all do enjoy. Peace out. I love y'all. All right. First off, we got the Ravens, probably one of the better teams in the AFC. Top two, at least. 14-2, plain and simple. Great offense, great defense. Just, they're just ahead of everyone almost. Steelers, 8-8. Eight and eight. I like Big Ben coming back, but I feel like they just lack in receiver corpse. And I feel like their defense is going to carry them again. 8-8. Eight and eight. Browns finally draft the O line. Hopefully that'll help uh, Baker Mayfield. But I see them going nine and seven. A little bit of growing pains again, but they're gonna be a decent team. Now Bengals are interesting because people think they're gonna go like three and thirteen, one and fifteen. I see them going six and ten because their receivers are kind of nice. They just gotta hope that O line holds up. Bills eleven and five. A great team. Great defense. Got another weapon in Stephon Diggs. Good running back. They're gonna be great. Patriots 10 and 6. Cam Newton came there. That was actually kind of surprising. I feel like they're lacking on our receivers a little bit, but I can see them going 10 and 6 with a great defense. Um, Dolphins, they're going to be good too. Uh, 8 and 8. They're going to finally go 500. It's been a long time, but Tua's going to have some growing pains, and he's just going to have to adjust. Jets 7 and 9. They're going to be, they're going to have a shot at the playoffs just like they did last year, but I just feel like they're going to choke it again. But they have a pretty decent team. 10 and 6 is the Colts because it's honestly their division to lose along with the Titans. They have a great team. A lot of veterans returning. Great coach. Um, Jaguars, young, young and unexperienced. And the front office is just, I don't know what they're doing. 5 and 11. It's the same thing with this Texans team right now. You trade DeAndre Hopkins, the best receiver in the AFC. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. 7 and 9. They, their defense is also kind of shaky. All right, now we got the Titans. It's their division to lose to. 10 6. Great running back, great receiving corpse. Low key, underrated defense. They, they kind of slept on the defense. I'll go 10 6. Uh, Chargers, whoever they start at quarterback is going to do great. I see them going 11 5. Just a phenomenal team. A lot of depth everywhere. And yeah, Chiefs, probably one of the top two teams at AFC. You got Patrick Mahomes. You got so much speed. Like, you cannot keep up with that. Like, I don't get how someone's going to keep up with that. Um, Broncos, 8-8. Eight and eight. I feel like they're going to do good with the new weapons they acquired, but Drew Luck, I feel like he's going to actually get hit around this year because he only started a few games, so 8-8. Eight and eight. Uh, Raiders, they're going to do pretty decent. They have a great team, in my opinion, but they're in a hard division, so I'm going to say 7-9, and nine, to be honest with you. Giants, they're in a winnable division to keep it up being with you. Like, they can win this division. With a healthy, healthy Saquon Barkley and a good Daniel Jones, they'll be... They could be up there. Same thing with Washington. I think this division is very winnable for any of these teams. I see them going eight and eight. They just have to hope, like all this drama around their name change is gonna not affect their play. Eagles, nine and seven. I'm not that high on them. Brandon Brooks just went out with Achilles tear, but I just I'm not high on the Eagles. Um, Cowboys, I'm very high on them. Eleven and five. They they literally have like a piece on every position that's just like phenomenal, in my opinion. Same thing with the Saints. Saints are also a great team, 12-4. That's what I'm going to say they're going to go. But they just choke in the playoffs. Like You can't be that good and choke in the playoffs. And they usually start slow. And in this hard division, they can't start slow with the Bucks, Falcons, and Panthers. All right, so we got the Bucks now, 12-4. A very big culture change. They just got to start strong. Falcons, they're in a hard division. I see them winning a couple games against the Bucks and the Saints. They just got to start strong and take advantages of the games that are, should be hand-me-downs. Panthers, they can compete. 7-9, I have them going. I just I just hope they do go with Teddy Bridgewater because he deserves it. Rams, I'm not that high on them. 4-12, four and, four and I just don't see them going anywhere. I just, Jared Goff's giving me bad, bad vibes this year. Cardinals, though, uh, Kyler Murray's going to have some weapons to throw to. It just depends on their defense. How, how much they can stand 9-7 Seahawks obviously going to be good 12-4 and four, they're always good they just they know how to play team ball like very well that, that's that's their strong suit 49ers um, Jimmy Garoppolo should be doing good you got a healthy Kittle 12-4 and four. phenomenal defense I don't even need to get into that Packers though they're going to have a little fall off this year I'll say 10-6 this uh, what they did drafting just 
just like threw me through threw me for a loop. I don't get it. Lions five and eleven. They're gonna they're gonna show some flashes, but Matt Patricia's probably gonna get fired. So it is what it is. Bears though twelve and I mean six and ten. What am I doing? Uh, just Mitchell Trubisky or Nick Foles. I I can't trust either of them. Next, last and finally, we got the Vikings going 11 5. They're going to take advantage of the Packers, like slowing down a little bit. And they have a great team, so they should be doing good. 11 5. If you made it all the way to end, I appreciate you a lot. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out. Stay safe.